good afternoon. I would like in this video to follow up from the last one uh, about the T-square of Mars in Taurus opposed to Neptune in Scorpio and square, both of these square to Saturn in Aquarius. In astrology we call this a T-square and it exemplifies um, uh, a uh, a patterning, a pattern, a conditional patterning, upon which the life r revolves in terms of those planets, and we can see them showing. Or what I've been trying to do is show, is to demonstrate how this pattern appears in the life and work of Peterson that we see. So, for example, this Saturn in Aquarius is pretty glaringly obvious. Uh, if we unfold the archetypal symbolism, the general um, amplify the symbolism of Saturn, uh, we can see that he represents uh, almost the king of tyrants. Um, because in mythology, Kronos obviously ruled on the, on the throne and uh, set up this kind of situation in which he was the sole ruler. <coughs> And when his son, Zeus, who was, uh, well, actually was in Saturn, Saturn or Kronos, very similar in Roman, Roman Greek mythologies, uh, when, the, when his son was set to uh, usurp him from the throne, he then ate them, or in other words, suppressed them. He took them into himself and didn't really allow their own independent existence. And so that's why Saturn, Kronos, the ruler of time itself, often connects to the symbolism or symbolism of authority or those in authority. And in on, on a personal interpretation, Saturn is where we become our own authority. It is the discipline that we have to have in order to face the uh, basic problems of being in, in an incarnate situation. So Saturn is that within us which grounds our own experience in some form of inner authority or maturity. Saturn is almost like the condenser of matter. It's represented in lead, as, as, re as lead in alchemy, the most densest of matter. And for us as human beings represents this limitation that we must find when we're in a particularly enclosed time and space or in a particular culture. And so, therefore, Saturn gets an ugly press in astrology for being the so-called greater malefic, whereas, in fact, he just teaches us about time. He teaches us about um, uh, learning to organise our own self and so that we can become organised in relation to the chaos of life. Saturn, therefore, represents things such as order, such as the police, such as the inner father, sometimes a, a, a very austere kind of figure, and sometimes a, a paternalistic guide who is uh, authoritative but kind. So naturally, people with Saturn in Aquarius, Aquarius being the sign of um, the so-called sign of humanitarianism or humanity and, and the realm of ideas about how people are connected, what those fundamental uh, processes of connection, the archetypal mind, if you like. Um, uh, Aquarius often has a vision of a perfected society and uh, leads them to form or become part of a group mind in order to change humanity in some way. A very reformist sign with ideas of egality, uh, e e e um, 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 egalitarianism and humanitarianism and progress in society, civilianship. It has its rulers over those kind it rules over those kind of things which emanate from the um, science qualities and uh, associations. So when we see Saturn in that, and we see that in the life of Jordan Peterson, who has studied these kind of social, uh, uh, so-called social systems, uh, and the particular people that have run them in terms of group identity. And he's seen them as despots and tyrants, so studying, obviously, um, uh, Stalin and Hitler and uh, Mao, particularly. Those three were the biggest, uh, I suppose, three in history that we can, we can see. And his study of tyranny and how it, how it is represented in a collective ideology um, uh, Peterson has made an enormous study of that and how the hierarchies can go completely wrong. Uh, 
And so his view is to connect that, uh, connect that uh, knowledge up, and so not get lost amidst the uh, collective ide ideologies of our age, including, of course, political correctness, which is this very um, Aquarian idea that if we can just uh, um, find a, a humanitarian group association, then this is some form or way of resolving our conflicts. Of course, uh, it gives rise to some good solidarity movements. Um, in many ways, uh, Aquarius is noted as the sign of friendship, uh, but is also the sign of comradeship. And comradeship, the word means in the same room. As if, you know, when people are at a bus stop, let's say in an order, and uh, somebody comes in and tries to push in, the group or the herd identity kind of groups together and in a single purpose. And this, this idea of forming groups or solidarity of experience um, with humanity or the whole of humanity or in a particular um, uh, ideology or um, a circle of a social circle of some kind. Um, then it comes into its own. But generally, it's the sign of the higher mind and the looking at what connects all of humanity, the realm of archetypal ideas, the celestial mind, if you like. Uranus is part ruler of this sign. So when Saturn is in it, this study of tyrants and tyrannical behaviour in, in, and, and how societies... Um, uh, produce these um, these people and, uh, and then they're followed all of that kind of connection is is involved in that in that uh, um, that placement of Saturn in Aquarius Jung too has Saturn in Aquarius and I linked that last time to uh, to Jordan Peterson there's the social scientist in him as well as clinical psychologist um, but I came across a um, uh, a video he did, uh, and there are lots of videos of Jordan Peterson online at the moment. And I I um, I seen most of his lectures and talks, and uh, I uh, wanted to thank him personally, really, for um, showing all of that stuff, all of that material, both at Harvard and uh, Toronto, and and. Um, the, the, the way he's allowed his um, expertise and his brilliance and the, uh, the accumulation of so much knowledge has, has, is being expressed, if you like, and, and shown quite freely on the internet for everybody. Otherwise, I would have not never got to hear him and never got to see and be um, exposed to these ideas about how somebody has put together so much after so much study and intensive work, both on himself and uh, in relation to understanding um, the hows and whys of fascism and how it um, can 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 seep through into um, in, into one's personal world and political ideologies and grand movements and how that can then uh, say, tyrannize the individual into becoming um, just simply a part of a group as opposed to individual identities. And as I was talking about earlier, how the, uh, the, the group can suppress the individual shadow. So uh, Aquarius has a tendency to project itself or its idealizations out into the world. <coughs> as opposed to seeing how we are connected, if you like, as hum, hu, human beings in our individual self to the group. This whole thing about group group identity and individual is, is shown in that axis between Leo and Aquarius. And similarly, the Sun and Uranus or Saturn. Okay. But what I found uh, in this talk, it was, it was a talk entitled, When Did You Get Serious?, and uh, he was being, he was being interviewed. I can't remember his name now, but a pretty good interviewer and a good speaker himself. And I've seen him online several times. Um, the.